so now let's just add a splash screen for that purpose first of all we will create a new folder so right click on lib new and this third option which is directory if you are using mac then in mac it is called package okay by the way you can also recognize it by this icon okay this folder icon just click on it and we are going to give it name as splash screen and then right click on splash screen new dot file and we will give it name as splash underscore screen remember the name must be in small english alphabets okay according to the flutter documentation and uh, instead of space you can use this underscore okay and we can simply say import material dot dot and then we can create a stateful widget we will give it name as my splash screen okay do not give it just name splash screen just give it my splash screen the reason for this is because in flutter there is also a splash screen keyword okay which is you can say the built-in splash screen so we do not want to replace or you can say confuse our splash screen with that that's why we give it name as my splash screen so anyways now we have to simply implement a uh, a timer okay that is for how much time we want to display over this display screen of course we will design this later on I mean the user interface for this display screen first of all let's implement the important method which is to which is this start timer okay that is for how much time we want to display so we can say timer duration duration will be in the, the seconds okay in seconds we want to display so for how much seconds three seconds will be good okay and then the remove the call it will be asynchronous make sure to put a semicolon here at the end and then in here for now we will simply write a code in order to send user home screen later on of course we will do I mean at a condition that is if a user is already logged in then send the user to the home screen otherwise send the user to the login or registration screen but that we will do later on of course we have not yet added the firebase so anyways for now we will simply first create a new screen okay so right click on live new directory okay new folder or new package and we will give it name as man screens right click on man screens new dot file man underscore screen port material dot dot and we will just give it name as man screen okay and we will change this to scaffold and then of course just we will display an amp bar for now so it will be welcome that's it later on we will change it of course so let's close the main screen and now here we can simply say on this play screen that is navigator dot push context material page root main screen okay make sure to put a semicolon at the end and yeah that's it here we have to add the const modifier okay since it is constant that is for three seconds only and then in the init stat function above the widget build just write ini okay this is this init stat this is the built-in method in flutter now what it means basically init stat is called 
whenever we go to any page okay for example here we are going to call the function I mean our method which is start timer okay this one so whenever the app starts okay that is whenever the user come here to this play screen it will first execute okay this init state function this init state method will be executed automatically okay and then by default whatever we call here it will be executed at the start so I hope you understand the meaning of init state now and now let's just quickly design the UI so we can say container color will be black and after it and the center of the screen first we have to add a column widget since we will be displaying an image and a text so that's why so we can say children and the main x is alignment main x is alignment dot center then we can add our image so we can say image dot asset I will provide this image okay this image file which is by the name logo one okay you have to simply download this logo one download this image copy it come here to the project and first of all right click on drivers app okay which is our project name right click on your project name and then you can simply click new and then directory okay we have to create a new folder if you are using Mac then of course it is called package so click on it and then we can simply give it name as images okay and then right click on images and click on paste and click OK so now inside the images we have our logo1.png file and then go to the popspec.yml file and here we have to add our assets below the users material design okay here we can simply write assets and remember below the second s of this assets we have to specify our address that is our images folder slash so whatever is inside the images folder okay the slash represents that it is now included in our project now about this let me explain it further remember this a I mean this asset which we write here this a must be in proper alignment just like uses material design u okay I hope you can see it this indentation okay do not give any extra space forward or backward otherwise it will give you error okay it must be in proper alignment with this u and then this dash it must be in proper alignment with second s of assets okay and then of course one space and then your folder name which is in our case images slash slash means that whatever is inside the images folder it will be included in our project so just click on pub get now if the exact code is zero it simply means that it has been added successfully so now we can use it we can simply say images if you see this as a suggestion click on get dependencies okay and then click on ignore if for the second time it show you this so anyways logo one dot png which is the file name inside the images folder comma then after it we can use a text widget and we can just display our message our splash screen message for this app which is driver app so anything you want to display here I will simply write here uber and in driver in driver clone app and yes of course we will apply some style on it text style font size will be 
20 color will be color start white since our background color is black for the whole container I mean our splash screen page and yeah I, this is okay and if you want you can of course apply some font wet font wet dot bold and since this is a constant widget I mean we have just uh, hard coded text okay which is over an in driver clone app so we can make this constant okay add the constant modifier alongside with it now we are ready to test the app okay first of all go to the mender dot and from here remove this home scaffold okay this one just remove this and we will simply call our my splash screen just like this so let's just restart the app to see how it looks here you can see now come here to the splash screen and here we have to add some space so I will simply add a size box of height 10 okay and add const modifier here as well as for the testing purposes for now just we will display it for 13 seconds in order to fix the design okay this is how our splash screen looks and then after 13 seconds which we specify here okay it will go to the page which is home screen I mean this main screen not the home screen of course home tab we will specify I mean we will implement later on so send user to the main screen now here we have this uh, line okay with the text it is because we have to wrap our container with the material app so just click here okay and you will see this yellow bulb click on it and wrap with the widget and we will simply change this to material okay this one and now if we restart the app then here you can see the error has been gone now let's increase the font size to 24 okay just like this and now let's back this I mean for three seconds we want to display our splash screen so yeah, this is all about our splash screen and after three seconds it is going to the main screen so in the next video we will be working on it further we will start from the main screen and our login and registration screens we will implement in the next upcoming videos